Good morning, Sentinels. Thanks for tuning in to our third broadcast. I'm Audrey Wood. And I'm Robert Heim. We're your SCTV news anchors. Sentinels, let's talk house points. Here are the standings as of last week. In third place is St. Patrick with 71 points. In second place is St. John the Baptist with 73 points. And in first place is St. Catherine Drexel, Drexel with 80, 80 points. points. Congratulations to the house of St. Catherine Drexel. I wish St. Juan Diego was up there. Well, we're still counting up the house points from the recent NHS back to school drive. So stay tuned for the updated standings. Maybe St. Anne will be in first. Nah, St. Saint Juan, Saint Juan Diego all the way. Now, let's go to Jacob Damon for the weather and traffic. What's up guys? My name is Jacob Damon and I'm here to report the weather to you this week. Pouring out something actually a little different, uh, you know, gonna be reporting on something people care about, the homework, right? Uh, a building, actually a big downpour of homework, you gotta be really careful around there. Uh, we turn to the office real quick, uh, actually a lot of sporadic lightning. Make sure you're dressed for the occasion, you know, don't wanna get caught or anything. Uh, down here, you know, we uh, got some sunshine and rainbow. That's pleasure. the parking lot, Jacob. Nathan Tom. This is my show, Jacob! Nathan, you know who runs this? Hey, I do! Hey, I do! Hey, 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 oh! 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 Got it! Got it! Got it! Sorry about that. I had to get rid of that really quick. Uh, back to you guys in the studio. A lot of weird weather on campus and in the studio. Yeah, definitely. Sentinels, this past Saturday, Seton hosted its sold-out gala dinner, Havana Nights, to raise money for the new historic campus renovations. The night was complete with dinner, dancing, and an auction. Over a hundred baskets were auctioned off, including autograph merchandise, vacation packages, and house decor. I wish I got the Mr. B barbecue basket. I bet that went for a lot of money. Speaking of money, how much did we raise? I'm not sure. Let's check in with Mr. Pogi, our Director of Advancement. Mr. Pogi? Thanks, Bobby and Audrey. It really was a great event, and uh, the people in the room just had a wonderful, wonderful time. A lot of a lot of parents and a lot of alums, and it was just really a great time. We actually raised quite a little bit of money. We're still doing the final numbers and the tallies. It takes a few days for it to all settle down, but uh, I can tell you this. We raised over $300,000 for sure, and probably a little bit more than that. So we'll, we'll have some final numbers towards the end of the week. But uh, it, it was really fun, and uh, all of that money goes to help us finish off the renovation project here at the school. Thanks a lot. Wow, that's a lot of money. Thank you to all the generous donors. Now, here is Nick with our sports report. Thanks, Bobby. The football team had a scrimmage last week against Paradise Valley, winning 21 to seven. Girls volleyball had their first volleyball game last night at Lee Williams. Boys and girls golf have a busy week with games tonight and tomorrow night. Good luck, Sentinel. I'm here with David Osana, star player on the football team. So, David, how do you feel about the football team this year? You know, we're going to turn some faces, surprise some people, and win a lot more games than last year. When's your first game? Our first game is going to be here at scene, September 3rd against Bradshaw Mountain. Hope to see you there. Like David said, football kicks off their regular season this Friday against Bradshaw Mountain. It's a home game at 7. Wear white for a whiteout and be loud. Fellowship of Christian Athletes is starting soon and the meetings will be in the chapel. First meeting is September 8th at 7 a.m. Meetings will be the second and fourth Wednesdays of the month. If you have any questions, reach out to Mr. Buchanan or Rachel Martinez. Esports had their first competition ever last Thursday. One of our Seton teams took home the win in the CCS Rocket League Tournament in OT over Willow Canyon. Sentinel Esports is off and running. This is Nick reporting. Back to you in the studio. We have breaking news. Take it away, Jacob. Yes, we have some breaking news. Coach Self has been inducted into the New York State Hall of Fame. She will be one of six inductees into the Hall of Fame this year. In her high school career, she was known as a prolific scorer and racked up 2,662 points in her four years. After high school, she played basketball at ASU. While at ASU, she led the Pac-10 in steals and was the third highest scorer in the league. All right, I'm Kevin Reese, and I'm here with Ms. Self. Ms. Self, how do you feel about getting inducted into the New York State Hall of Fame? 
Um, it's actually pretty exciting and it's an incredible honor. There's some really amazing athletes and coaches that have been inducted, so to be included was really incredible. All right. Great, thank you. She is most well known for her coaching career right here at Seton Catholic, leading Seton to 12 state titles in 30 years. Back to you, Bobby. Wow, 30 years at Seton. I know, right? I can barely make it through four years. Congratulations, Coach Self. Very much deserved. Now, for our last story. There has been a new merch shop this year in the Spirit Store. Check out the Property of Seton shirt, red, gold, and Sentinels crew or v-neck, red jersey, gold stripes, v-neck, new design, the classic game day, red zone, new design. If you want to look fly like me, then stop by the Spirit Store. Well, folks, another week has gone by. Next week, we will be on hiatus due to the club fair during house. Remember, take pride in yourself, join a club, and meet new friends. You might even catch me in a club if you're lucky. Thanks for watching this week's SCTV News. Don't forget to subscribe to our brand new SCTV YouTube channel and follow at SCP underscore house on Instagram. See you in two weeks, Sentinels. Can we do this? <laughs>